Today, we're going to be having a look at how to use a soldering iron and solder to fit electronics into your fursuit. My name is The Mahalli, and welcome to episode 2 of The Electric Fursuit. Let's go! For this tutorial, the bare minimum we will need is something to solder, in this case last week's fan project, some shrink wrap tubing, a lighter, a soldering iron, and some solder, as well as a set of 55mm macro lenses if you're making this for a YouTube series. Shrink wrap is insanely useful, and I would recommend getting a selection of sizes. We're going to be using this to strengthen and insulate our solder joints. When it comes to soldering irons, even the cheap stuff will get the job done. These can be as cheap as $10. I would say spend what you're comfortable with. If you think you're going to be doing more soldering in the future, I would highly recommend a soldering starter kit, which comes with loads of useful goodies. And solder? Well, it's solder, really. First, let's learn how to solder... Oh, I feel like I'm saying solder way too much here. Oh, there's nothing really we can do about it. Let's start by joining these two wires together. It's easier to show how this works with pipe cleaners, so stick with me on this one. What we're going to do here is wrap one of the wires around the other one like this. Then we do the same for the second wire in the same direction. After straightening out the joint, we can see it's very neat and tidy, and most importantly, strong. So let's see this in action. Wrap the wires together like we did the pipe cleaners. Twisting the wire between your fingers can also make sure it stays neat and tidy. Now for the fun part. Plug in your iron and wait for it to heat up. If you haven't got a stand to put it in, then I'd recommend an old baking tray to place it on. An iron is very similar to a paintbrush, so once it gets nice and hot, let's dab a little bit of solder onto the end, like we would a dab of paint. Once we have a little blob of solder, we're going to place it on the wire like so, and keep our solder ready. Once the wire is piping hot, press the solder against it and you should see the metal flow through the wire and give everything a nice glossy coating. And there we have a nice strong solder joint. Next, slide the shrink wrap over the joint. You forgot to slide the, you forgot to slide it over one of the wires before you started, didn't you? I can guarantee this will happen to you at some point. Just remember that we don't make mistakes, just happy little accidents. Once we have the shrink wrap placed over our joint and covering all the bare wire, heat it up by wafting your lighter underneath it. Let's now wire up a switch. All we have to do here is strip back more wire than usual, and use a larger piece of shrink wrap so it can fit over the switch terminal. Place the iron on both the wire and the terminal at the same time. This can be a little bit tricky, so a large blob of solder can help with this. Press the solder into the gaps, and once it's up to temperature, it should flow like before. And there we have a perfect joint. Keep in mind that as strong as they are though, wire and solder will degrade when it's exposed to moisture, bent or stretched, so make sure that any electronics are fastened securely and you're not pulling on any wires when you're in suit. It's also a good idea to make sure that electronic components are easily accessible because you will need to make repairs. We should now be able to wire up our fan system ready to be put into a head.
we should now have a working fan system ready to be fitted into a fursuit. It's nice and strong because of all the heat shrink and our really good soldering we've just done. That's going to about wrap it up for this episode, but tune in next week for a talk on LEDs and voltage. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and as always, I hope that helped. Marley, out.